Chug, I'm afraid this is the end. Life moves real fast when you're a wild young blood. Love a bars in love again. We're all really close, so it's weird because I, I haven't seen. I said Aaron. Uh, Aaron drove by my house once, um, and that's all I've seen. So we tried to do a FaceTime, and that was pretty cool. And then we've done a few Zooms, but it's so this is really well organized. Uh, what the Stray Dolls have done, but when we do it on our own, everyone's changing their backgrounds every two seconds and, <laughs> and just it's pretty chaotic. <laughs> yeah, but we're still we're working on. Um, Right before the salt stop, we have a, a single that hopefully will come out sometime this year. Uh, so we were working on a demo right before the lockdown, and we're, we're almost done with it now. We're trying to do file sharing to finish it. But again, like I said, I, I'm not really good at all this stuff personally. So <laughs> yeah. it's all a new thing. <laughs> yeah. But thanks for, thanks for getting on Zoom. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure it's the same for where you're at. You, you can't even go to the movie theater or go anywhere that's not a grocery store, you know? So, I mean, that alone sucks. So not even be able to, to be playing a regular Friday night in L.A. is horrible, let alone being on the road, you know? Like, we miss all of it. I'm pretty young. When I was, like, nine is when I started seeing, you know, I was, like, watching MTV all day and listening to this K-Rock, the rock station out here all night until, you know, way past my bedtime, things like that. Yeah, I don't know if we ever really uh, planned on it. It just kind of happened. Too. Well, Kevin had that talk where we should make Prima Donna. That was big. But oh, yeah, totally. For, for had, us. Yeah. And we're like, we're going to do this. But... Uh, and then I started playing uh, violin at uh, 11 years old in middle school. But I didn't know anything yet. I was just playing violin. So. I remember when Kevin brought over this VHS cassette. And uh, I don't know who he got it from, but it was like the Dolls, Dead Boys. Oh, yeah. And he brought, we were really young. We were like maybe, I don't know, 14, 15. He brought over this cassette. We put it in my TV and then... The first song I can ever remember hearing that changed my life, it was uh, All This and More, Dead Boys. Oh, like that's that. cool. Yeah, and Kev played it for me, and I was like, wow, this is what I want to do for sure. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I have that VHS somewhere. Uh, I stole that from some, it's at my parents' house, but I took yeah. that from <laughs> someone's yeah, house, uh, yeah. The Dolls, it was Dead Boys, uh, The Jam, The Jam was on there. Yeah, it had a lot of, it had Bauhaus. And yeah, was it a, a compilation? Of, Did you put... Yeah, it was, no, it was a home. It was someone that had taken the time to, like, tape things off yeah. TV in the 80s. And I think I was at a party and I just, and I took it. Yeah, if ever, if anyone makes, like, a document or a movie about us, that's the moment that I was like... Oh, that's cool, Dan. Yeah. What about, what about you, Levine? Uh, I, I can't remember a time where I didn't want to be a musician. And, and, you know, as the, as the guys all know, my memory is not the best. Kevin's got the best memory. David pretends uh, he remembers things. I'm, I, I, know, I know for a fact that I don't memory, remember anything. Adamly. My memory is, is My memory is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember a time when I didn't want to play music. I, I was 12 when it began. Though. So your earliest memory is 12? Uh, my earliest you, memory uh, of wanting to play music was 12. Oh, that's when I started. Impersonator for many years. You, you wanted to be a wise guy first, though. Is what <laughs> yeah, I, oh. yeah. <laughs> I you, for, you forgot. You <laughs> forgot about that, but it's true. Hi guys, how are you? Yo, what's up? Hey, um, hey, hey. Nice to see you. How you doing? Hey. 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 What's up? Very sexy. Very sexy pose. Yeah. 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 It's like a siren said today. It's like a siren, oh, wow. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a beautiful painting. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing? You belong in the um, loop. It's oh. good. We miss you guys. Yeah. Really? We miss being in the Ah, we miss you too. Yeah. 
We miss you too, guys. Hope to meet you again in Europe soon. I hope to meet oh, you. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eddie. looks so beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, uh, when you get Levine you, laughing you. like this, it's not, it won't stop. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> Can you meet Everybody, <laughs> watch your timer. Levine, this will go on for a while. No, no, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I have a question for the special guest. Yeah. How, how do you say um, clown in Italian? Clown. Pagliaccio. <laughs> Pagliaccio. 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 Okay. Pagliaccio. <laughs> but you got, you got to do this. Yeah. Pagliaccio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. On. Yeah. <laughs> you write a song uh, about this and you will sing just the word Pagliaccio in our next album. Are you, are you okay? It'll be perfect. A, it'll yeah. be a super perfect. Group. You got yeah. the Crooked Prima Donna super group. Yeah. I was in a band in a band called The Skulls when I was a teenager, and part of the crew, the crew, the people around us, a couple of them started calling me Kevin the Prima Donna. And out here, it's not a literal thing. It just it's more of like a it, you know, it just means. So they called him that, and then that's yeah. The diva. It, then, it just sounded like a really cool band name. That's that's and then yeah, and then we started Prima Donna. We started the band like a year after that, or like pretty quick after that. So it just stuck. Yeah. Hmm, good question. Wow. Well, for me, I I came yeah. later. And I really wanted to be in the band, so I was already a big fan. So that's what inspired me to be with you guys. We told him no several times, but he just kept asking and asking. <laughs> Not true. Yeah, because we've already been playing with each other, David, you and me. Yeah. With our, our first band, my first band ever well, that I was part of starting was Is okay? Dead with David. Yeah. And Dan, our former member. Yeah, so, uh, Kevin and I have been playing together since we were babies, basically. And then um, right. in high school, I met Aaron, and then Aaron and I started playing a band together. And, uh, Which was new. Yeah, we graduated high school, went to college, and then, then after that, we formed Prima Donna. Levine joined a few years later. Me and Dave started playing when, when, we, when we got into music, period. And... Uh, mm -hmm. We both, I barely had been playing guitar for like a month. And I think Dave, we're, it was, you didn't know, you were either going to play bass or play drums. Like it yeah. was that early, it was that early on. We were little kids. Yeah. And uh, it was me, David and Dan when we were little kids. And we really hadn't, I think we had only worked out that I would play guitar just because I had been playing guitar for a few months. But it, everything else was sort of up in the air. But when we actually like learned how to play, uh, it was it was me and Dave, and then we went to different high schools, and David met Aaron, and then um, and then yeah, after right after high school, we started this band, and then Levine was the only only choice we had. We had a European our uh, our second no, I guess our third European tour. We we really uh, wanted Levine to play bass, and he learned every song. He had a month. To learn every song, nailed it. and and yeah, and his first show. Where was your first show, Levine? I think in the Netherlands. Yeah, we were in the Netherlands. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No warm up shows, nothing. Nothing. And we are banned from that venue, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate. <laughs> okay, when Prima Donna started, I had a few songs. It it started with a, a like three songs that I had. I think it was uh, Crucify and Stray Doll. Well, and the and best Prima song never recorded, Sex Police. Oh, you're oh, right. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah, first. that's what man. it started with. Yeah. Never heard that, that was song. first. It's a great song. That's right. Oh. That was wow. first, huh? Yeah. And then I Fill My Heat, which turned into I Don't Want You to Love Me. Yeah. And it was, it was, I just knew that, that, uh, David and Aaron were the guys, the guys that, like, th those are the people I wanted to play with. 
that was it. We wanted a band. We were really, really, really into the New York Dolls and and 70s, 70s punk and 70s glam. And that's really what kicked it off. And 50s rock and roll. Th those were like the big yeah. things for us. Billy Idol. When I was a kid, man, Billy Idol was everything. Still kind of is for me. That's my first one right there. Animal. Well, right? I love I love the Rolling Stones. Like I love like, everybody. We, everybody does. But like, Supergrass was a big influence on me early on. Love Super oh, Randy Newman. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up. I grew up listening to Randy Newman, Tom Waits, and uh, Van Halen were my dad's favorite bands, groups. But as a band, definitely uh, the Boys, New York Dolls. You know, um, the Stones, Ramones, definitely as a band, those influence us a lot. They're always on. Johnny Thunder's music and New York Dolls music is always playing for me. And, and there's been a couple of ideas that I've had that are totally like back to that influence. So, yeah. 50s, 60s girl groups. For, right? I would say so far our influences are pretty heavy on that. Our next single at least. Right. right. Yeah, that's a lot of it. I've been listening to, of course, you know, Rest in Peace Little Richard. So that's been on the turntable a lot. So I'm sure that's going to sneak in a bunch. Well, we, we toured the first it, it's a lot, a lot of it is, uh, it's a lot of like self-reflection after when we did, we recorded After Hours and then we toured all over the world for years. And it's just, it, it was really like a lot of, uh, I was trying to think more, you know, when I was writing a lot of those lyrics. It's, a, it's just everything I was feeling after seeing the world. And it's a really personal record. That's cool that it's interesting to you because it, it, it was totally that. Like the, the, first, the first record was all like, um, it was, it was a, people call it the party record after hours. And, it, and it's kind of like that because we were like really just getting into everything. And, you know, and then Bless This Mess was like, okay, now I've been on tour for a couple of years. How do I feel? So it was... It was, yeah. uh, you know. That was our life at that time, and we'll never do something like that again. And just at the moment, it was really who we were. If yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Dave. It's totally like a, a perfect like snapshot of where we were yeah, at that time. Sure. We weren't we weren't trying to do anything. We were just you know, yeah. <laughs> so tired. Technically, uh, technically, it's, technically, it stands for. Madonna. Yeah, uh, ST was a mix up. It's self titled. It's our self titled album. I named it after myself. It also means so tall. <laughs> <laughs> and that, uh, that Italian word, Spacchiamo. Spacchiamo. Spacchiamo tutto. Most of the time, there's not a lot for me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love it, but it is <laughs> fun sometimes. Deathless, Sing to Death, like those work really well. Acoustic, some of them. Yeah, like we, we've had fun doing acoustic shows in the past. Um, like we did this, uh, this champagne brunch in uh -huh. North Hollywood one time. And actually like, like mm -hmm. hearing someone recorded it and it sounded cool. And then we did a Stage It. Uh, you know that Next website, thing. Stage It? We did, uh, what did we do? We did a bunch of Stones we covers did, uh, once, oh, and I, cool. like, that, that sounded great. really cool. One like, time we did, uh, we played on a radio station. There's a cassette that we're on that we do an acoustic version of, Like Hell. Oh, uh, really? This oh. old song of ours. Yeah, it's on, a, it's on a, KXLU was the record station. They put out a cassette compilation, and we do. But that's a cool idea. Maybe we will, like like uh sing to death the original sing to death mix was really acoustic heavy and maybe that would be cool to release i'm gonna say uh my most favorite tour was the first tour the first european tour we ever did because mm. we were like 
we were so young and so like new to it and we didn't really know what's going on and like there was no responsibility yeah first time we went to europe the first time we did this the states in yeah. like 2005 yeah. we did our two first tours and we did a bunch of the u.s and we did a bunch of europe that year and both were really eye-opening and then touring with green day everybody like their fans were just so kind to us we didn't have to go on stage until the uh, the arenas were you know a lot of times when you do tours that big you're playing to to like a, you know like say they the, the arenas would hold on average probably like 16,000 people now most of the time you'll go on the lights are still on and there's just a you know like scattered people throughout the arena touring with green day the lights are off it's the full show um they they paid for us to have a giant banner and and the <laughs> arenas were full the arenas were full i you know like 80 to 90 percent capacity like that was insane touring with adam Ant in 2013 was really neat because we played a lot of theaters and like just every theater it was really neat to see the u.s that way because it was just beautiful old theaters and then headlining europe in 2012 we did a couple tours when bless this mess came out and a lot of the shows were just packed and and like a lot of this like the stray dolls that are all here like everyone knew the words and it was just really neat that was a really neat one for me too Jeez, that did go jump so yeah, so that was a great tour. Every that tour. was so every fun tour. it got every, every show got better and better it was so neat in 2009 you were all very young you had True. such energy on stage that you made the arenas feel like a punk club. True. How did you feel to play in front wow. of such a big crowd for the first time? Is it different from playing a small club show? We just, we didn't know how else to approach it because we had only played punk clubs before that. So we just came in with the yeah. same energy. And thankfully you and, and every, like a lot of people in the crowd were just really receptive to it. But that, in all honesty, like, we just took what we were doing and we, uh, we just tried to make it even bigger, you know? <laughs> we got pep talks from uh, Mike Durnt a lot of the time too. He was really good at like, like, yeah, do that again, do it, you know? Like, it was cool. I remember rocking out on the big stage and just looking everywhere because I'm like, oh, there's people here, but there's people up here now. So yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know. you know, and looking there and looking there and like trying to handle it all. But you guys, you, Italy, yeah, uh, but Portugal started the tour and they were jumping like crazy and screaming and Spain was great scre screaming yeah. and it was just crazy so Soul Stripper Live I mean that's like the party starter song for me but uh... I think for me like, like for the past two years it's been for real I just uh, I love playing that song and uh, we haven't played the live very often, awesome, but love from above. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a fun one, too. Eddie and the Hot Rods. You always pick up something from, like, vets that are older than you that have been doing it longer. Obviously, Green Day, we learned stuff from uh, Danko Jones, another one. And then, yeah, Eddie and the Hot Rods. But, uh, they would more hot rods more tell us stories in our times together yeah. off the stage where we learned a lot of knowledge i would say yeah, hot rods it was more like uh warnings like don't don't mm -hmm. don't party too hard you know keep your your head together most recently that tour with danko jones was really eye-opening in a lot of ways because they're a hard rock band and we don't do a lot of like hard rock tours so that was it was neat to see how they would get the crowd going and Danko's energy, their whole, that whole band, their energy is off the charts. So we had to, we had to rise to that level too, which was really neat. This band is my, they're called the Whiffs. They're so good. It, I think they're from, uh, they're from Kansas City, Missouri. And I like every, every song on that record, I think is really cool. And from Italy, the Pee Wees. I, 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 their record that came out in 2018. It's good, man. Was it's their best record, I, I think. And 
I really, really like them. They're not, you know, new, but that record was new. I really like that. So it's got to be someone with like a lot of material, right? Because you're going to go crazy <laughs> listening to the same artist for the rest Aaron's of your life. <laughs> Unless the rest of your life's not very long. So, oh, um, dark, dark. <laughs> Jesus. You know, because you want to, you think of like the big ones, the Beatles and the Stones, but I don't know, man. It's so hard. There's a couple, but David Bowie, I, I there's, you know, I, I don't, there's probably not a single day that I don't listen to one of his songs. But I'll, maybe I'll just leave it at that. And Prince, I, I don't, I, there's Prince hardly good, a day man. that I don't listen to at least a couple of, of Prince songs. I, yeah. Yeah. And Nina Hagen. I listen to Nina Hagen all the time. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Diana Ross. Uh, T-Rex is one, too. T-Rex, yeah. Uh, Rolling, I don't know. I'm going to say Rolling Stones. Iggy Pop. Because you can do Iggy about? solo and Iggy with the bands, maybe. So. Oh, yeah. Well, I love the Stooges, but Iggy solo would be great. I'm going to say cyberpunk for, for Levine. He'll listen well, to you said, Billy, yeah, cyberpunk. Billy Idol cyberpunk all the way through every day. Uh, well, to, live and, works to, yeah. to live and die in the valley. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> good one. Bless mm, this mess is, good. yeah, that's Bless what it would be called. Uh, Bless this mess. ST. Uh, <laughs> ST. No, ST is the horrible title for a soap <laughs> opera. That new Strokes album came out, and the first That's one I think one. I love, love a lot. The first song, there's a lot of good ones on there, but the first one I think it's called "The Adults Are Talking." That's the good one. I do love oh, that yeah. song. Yeah. The new Stone song that came out, wow. "Living in a Ghost Town," it was, was so good. cool. That was good. But good. there's this, there's this. Uh, new this group called the city girls and they have this song act up that i listen to constantly so i, I might have to say that one well, i listened to you a couple times today was kevin's uh doo-wop cover oh no, thanks man very good oh yeah it's yes, very, yes. Sweet. It's really very good. sweet good the bad and the ugly love yes. it. an italian movie um Goodfellas, mm -hmm. Army of Darkness, anything with Jean Claude Van Damme. I love Clue, the movie Clue with Tim Curry, uh, Clueless, Clueless from the nineties. <laughs> Clue and Clueless, <laughs> Valley Girl. Um, those are I never like. I could watch those all the time. The Room, I watch The Room all the time oh my god terminator so 2 uh, like we all yeah. watch that one at least the, the beginning of fast times at ridgemont high it gets it can get a little depressing can't hardly wait from the 90s oh i watched that a couple of nights oh, ago yeah yeah it's a good do. one that thing you do that thing you do we watch that thing you do all the time we watched school of rock together when it came out <laughs> like when was... the band started that was so funny oh, wow yeah that was a good movie yeah Harold and Kumar. <laughs> Harold and Kumar. Classic. Those the are all good. Singer. The Wedding Singer. You can't go the wrong. The Wedding with Singer. That. Classic. <laughs> and Levine would say good, Goodfellas. And, good, uh, well, Goodfellas is a great movie. Yeah. Oh, uh, Kingpin. Levine loves Predator. Blanca. Jurassic Park. Predator. Predator. Aliens 2. Um, Room 37. 30, 37. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> We we watch that every day, every day. <laughs> Great movie. Um, and the guitar player's girlfriend. That's another guitar one. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, Machine Gun Jesus. Machine, Machine Gun, Gun Jesus. Jesus. There you go. Yes, I really do. I like anything that Alaska was involved with, and and still. <laughs> It, it's funny, um, yeah, every time I'm out there, I ask, like, I try and ask everybody, you know, like, more things to check out, but anything that Alaska was part of, and Nacho, Alaska and Nacho, all of them. 
Killer high life is the best. I've been eating a ton of, uh, I eat potatoes, man. I really like <laughs> potatoes. Yeah, I could, it's yeah. It's a, a really good burrito. Yeah, good Mexican food, good sushi. I love to drink wine. Love prosciutto. Yeah. Like you could go anywhere yeah. in the world and get good falafel, I think. You could like, even here, it's pretty good. So yeah, um, like a, I'll go with that because it, it's consistent everywhere. It's not as big here as it is in Europe. Like here, there's some really that's good- That's true. Yeah. In Europe, yes, it's like- but, but you uh, have Mexican food. That's much better. Uh, that's much better. That, that is, those shops are like yeah. our kebab shops. They're like, yeah. they're, they're on every street. Yeah. So we're very, we're very lucky. Mm. That's true. Doing an online concert when we can see each other again, we'll do it, no question, because we love, we'll, we'll, like, you know, just turning on a camera while we're playing is nothing. We could, you know, we'd love to do that. Being like, being like the Brady Bunch and trying to sync up a song, it's just... It's tough. Since we, since we live so close, it's like, why don't we just wait until we can see yeah. each other, you know? Oh, bar song, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. It's good. Happy. Almost, almost all the emotions. <laughs> Aaron's a very emotional person. Aaron, describe every emotion. Almost all of them, I would say, but not all of them, because you don't want to feel some emotions on stage, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What Aaron, you're go, so. Aaron for, yeah, Aaron goes through all the ranges. He'll, like, there's uh, <laughs> some that punch the wall. Well, try yeah, to focus. Certain songs will bring him to extreme sadness. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, switch, switch emotions, yeah. switch your emotion. And then, um, yeah, focus. On the, continue, whatever. continue. Please continue. Uh, but then, yeah, you know, you, uh, you look, we look at each other on the stage and we feel a certain emotion or uh, inside joke, it's a level hate. chuckle. We're really happy on stage. Well, you, you can usually tell. This was great, though, man. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, am I still muted? Yeah. I thought this was yeah. a really good thing to do. It was yes. fun. This is fun. I enjoyed myself. I've got one question. OK, go ahead. OK. Oh, Can, turn on everybody's microphones at once. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK. We had a great time. Thank you. That was a blast. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. And see you soon. Bye bye. Wash your hands. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you, Susanna, Carolyn. Thank you so much for doing Thank you, Ellie. Thank, Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So here? Bye bye. Ciao. Pacchiamo tutto. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. Pacchiamo <laughs> tutto. What's your favorite Italian food? I made chicken parmesan last night. <laughs> I from scratch. I'm I think they proud. told us that's American. Didn't they tell us it's not really Italian? Oh, really? Yeah, that's like yeah. an American yeah. Italian um, thing, but it's okay. Ette told, us, Ette told us it's not real Italian. Oh, well, thank you, Massimiliano, for embarrassing me like that. <laughs> <laughs> David, David, David is a payacho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, my, Sorry, David.